Hey, how's it going? Welcome to Rapid Fire Reaper Tutorials, all info, no fluff. And today we're looking at gluing files with a clip handle. So just in case you don't know, in Pro Tools you have a feature called Audio Suite. And with Audio Suite, we can render audio through effects. And there's an option there called Clip Handle. So what that means is if you have like a section of an audio file and you want to put an EQ on it or something like that, and you want to render it, it will not only render the clip itself, but it will render 10 seconds before and after the clip as well. So even if you process the item, you can later do some editing and trimming if needed. Now with Reaper, most of the time we don't need to do that because we can put effects right on our tracks. So if I need an EQ or something, I can just put it here. I can make any adjustments that I want and I can just keep it there. We're still referencing the source media so we can trim it out and all the stuff will be there. And 99% of the time, Time, that is totally fine. However, when it comes to certain plugins, like anything from RX, from Isotope, if you want a really high quality level of processing, you have to actually do it offline. These won't work as just regular plugins. They are designed to be printed onto the audio you want to do offline, and then they'll sound their best. And otherwise they will just take up way too many resources. So with stuff like spectral denoise, you can't really just keep it on the item. It will slow down your system. It will take up a lot of resources. So it's better to render them. However, if I, for example, glue this item, well, great. Now all that stuff is baked into my audio file and a new audio file is created. But if I start drawing back these handles, you can see that it only rendered the clip. So if I later need to make some adjustments like, oh, I needed a little more from this side or I needed a little more tail, well, I can't get it back. So let's undo that stuff. And now we're back on our clip. So essentially, if I select this item, I can drag back both ends, then glue it. Then after I'm done, I can put them back. And this takes too much time. So we don't want to do that. That. So instead, let's make a custom action. Yay. So all right, let's get rocking. Let's make the custom action. And I'll tell you already, I can't share this custom action with you as you will see in a second. So you got to follow along with me. I'll try to go a little slower than usual. So the first bit that you need, if you have Reapack installed, go to Reapack, go to Browse Packages. And what you're looking for are these outboarder scripts. Move edit cursor left by 100 milliseconds and move edit cursor right by 100 milliseconds. So if you don't have them, just select both of them right click on them and go install. Mine is already installed, so mine is grayed out. And once you have that, you can go and find them in your action list. I'm going to select edit action. This is a very simple script that moves your edit cursor left by 100 milliseconds, but we can modify this value to make it any amount. So in this case, let's make a five second clip handle for these. I'm going to hit command A, then hit command and C to copy all this code. So after I copy the code, I'm going to go down here to new action, go new real script, and I'll call this one move edit cursor left by five seconds. Hit enter, a blank script is opened, command and V. And now all you got to do is change this to whatever amount you want. So in our example, we want to make a five second clip handle. I'll change that number to 5000, hit command and S, and there's our first one. And you got to rinse and repeat for the second one. So move edit cursor right by 100 milliseconds, edit action, copy all of it. Once again, new action, new real script. And this time we'll call it move edit cursor right by five seconds. Save that, paste the code here, change this number to 5,000. That's 5,000 milliseconds, boom. And now we got these two actions. So let's now make our custom action. So to start the custom action, we're just gonna select our clip. Let's just trim this clip a little bit so that we have extra handles to show. And basically we're just gonna make a custom action to do all the things that we do. So put the edit cursor here, bring this back 10 seconds, then put the edit cursor at the end of the file, bring that back a few seconds, then glue the item, and then just tuck these handles back to where they were. Again, go back to your action list, and this time we'll go to new action, and instead of real script, we'll create a new custom action. And let's Call it glue item adding five second handle something like that so the first thing we need to do well when we click the item our edit cursor may not be at the beginning it will be wherever we clicked so let's put our edit cursor at the beginning of item and so item navigation move cursor to side our items pow next from where we put that there we want to move our edit cursor left by five seconds i'm gonna also bring this other script in because we're gonna need it in a second i'll even bring some copies of that this is just so i don't have to search for them again so we move the edit cursor to start of items 
and now I want to move it left by five seconds. And now that our edit cursor is there, we want to trim the left edge of the item to the cursor. So in Reaper, trim actions also work as untrim. So if my edit cursor is outside the item, I can also extend the item. That's what we'll do. And now I'm gonna move my edit cursor to the end of item, and then from there, extend it by another five seconds. And this time we want to trim right edge. After that, we need to glue it, item, glue items. So up to this point, we extended our clips length by five seconds on each end, and then we glued them. Now we want to cut those trimmings back because we want them there, but we don't want a longer clip. We just want the option of elongating our clip afterwards if we need to. So by the end of this action, our cursor will be at the end of the item, which is now five seconds longer. So let's move our edit cursor left by five seconds and one more time, Trim. So now we're doing just the reverse of everything else we did. So this time we'll trim the right edge of item to edit cursor and that will look like this. Clap. And now let's one more time move cursor to the start of item. That will be here. And again, the beginning of our clip was five seconds longer than it used to be. So this time we're going to move the edit cursor right by five seconds and trim this edge as well. Trim left edge, trip laps. We can consolidate all the undo points so that in case we hit command and Z, it will just go back to before we glued it rather than having to do it 10 times. Hit OK. And now let's test our action. So this is our longer file. Let's say we just put this bit of it in the edit and let's say we put a spectral denoise on there in best quality and let's bring down the threshold whatever and let's select this custom action we just made and run it bam glued the file and the file remains to be at the same length however if i start dragging back i have five seconds of extra audio here five seconds of extra audio there and there you go bob's your uncle so obviously i can't give this custom action to you you have to modify the extra outboarder scripts yourself and then make this custom action for it to work maybe one day i'll learn to script this and if you want to learn more about scripting i have a series about that now so a link to that will go in the description and hopefully it's obvious to you that you don't need to stick by five seconds you can modify these scripts, change the handle size. You can even then go to the scripts you made. And if I change this value to anything, let's make this seven and a half seconds. If I save this and then run my custom action, it'll just keep working. So to kind of modify the handle size, it's a little bit annoying to do, but you can either make a few custom actions, one with 10 seconds, one with five seconds, or really I think five seconds or 10 seconds is a pretty decent amount. You wouldn't need to make it 75 seconds. Otherwise just do a better edit really. So that's it for today. In the blog post, I'll put kind of step-by-step -step instructions to how to do it as well if I went too fast for you. If you like the work I do, please subscribe and comment and blah, 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 all the stuff YouTube wants you to do. And if you really, really like the work I do, you can also donate to me through buymeacoffee.com. The link of that will be in the description. Join me tomorrow for a scripting live stream and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.